through the Magruder Corridor once with some friends, really enjoyed it, but this time we have a really great capable vehicle so that we can go to like Burnt Knobs and things like that. This is probably our last real camping of the season, so we'll be sad to hang up the sleeping bags, but we'll definitely get out and do some more um, overlanding, do some day trips, get to see some fall colors. Yeah. So come on. Chop the palm tree down, then I'll get the guy in the forerunner, and the window broke, and all those all the same time. It's like, it's a war zone. We just made it to camp, we got everything set up, and we're just going around meeting everybody. It's been pretty fun getting to know the different people here. Most of the people here are new to this group as well, so it makes it so that we all have lots to discuss. I suppose uh, the trail was a little dustier than I remember from last time. It looks heavier used than in our previous time we visited. Yeah, the weather's great. Uh, we're not going to have any problem sleeping tonight. We'll be toasty warm. and. Fall colors are starting to come out, but loving the temperatures. Yeah. So I suppose next on the agenda is to rally up the kids and we're going to make some snake soft tacos. So. New recipe. Let's yeah. see if the kids like it. We'll show you. Mm. They are delicious. Even getting I just like these. Yep. All right, we have Aaron. We're yeah. meeting some people around the camp, and you're in the Toyota. I'm in the Toyota FJ Cruiser. So Chris. Yes. And you're with the. the Tremor. Tremor. So we're here. At, we have uh, Andrew's rig, and he has a really cool Jeep Gladiator. It has a really nice rooftop tent area. So here we have Brandon. He set this whole thing up. And what are you driving? So I have a uh, 09 uh, GX470. But another one we caught was Gary and his wife. 2023 um, Sprinter. <laughs> we are having fun with these folks. Yep. Good. Very much fun. And this one cow and calf kept trying to get back on the highway. So you know, they couldn't open. Well, it's 7 in the morning. I love it when it's quiet in camp and... It's just so still outside. There's a little bit of dew on the ground, but it's gonna be an exciting day. I slept great. I never sleep really well, but I slept great. I think mom and the kids are a little bit quiet and a little bit cold this morning. It's probably 35 degrees, something like that, but yeah, I'm just really excited for the day. All right, we're gonna head up to Hell's Half Acre and then to a lookout tower. We have 11 vehicles, about 18 people. It's been a lot of fun playing or hanging out and uh, camping with this group. It's a good group of people, so. There's kind of a fo uh, fork, you want a hard left. Oh, is he? Oh, that's where I was going to go. Helene's the one that's going to get lost. Oh, look for a dog. You'll find Helene. Hey. Awesome. Yeah. No wonder they put a lookout up here.
guess we didn't have to backtrack to get up here to Hell's Half Acre uh, Lookout Tower. We've officially lost Helene. She's with the dogs. Hooray! We use this air mattress pad in the tent. It's like kind of a foam air mattress, but we've gone up in such high elevation, it is tight. I can't even uh, deflate it because the nozzles aren't on this side. Look how tight that is. Hopefully they have enough wine for everybody. I hate when they run out of wine on an overland trip. Well, we brought Andrew. He wines enough for everybody. <laughs> Magruder Ranger Station. Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness. Alright, lunchtime. I think I might have overfilled it. Turkey bacon crap. <laughs> uh -huh. Lay down. Clean. Is it good? Lay down. Yeah. <laughs> Ranger stations up there, and they set up this nice pump system. I'm imagining it's for like an emergency fire situation. What a beautiful river! What'd you I, find? A woolly bear. I thought I was dreaming for a second. We've been to this ranger station once before, about 15 years ago. We did the Magruder Corridor, and we had a, a few friends with us, and that was a great trip. This all brings back a lot of memories. I think the Magruder is definitely one of those trails that if you want to bring a larger group, you could you can. Campsites are plentiful, lots of area, the road's not too bad, uh, lots to see, some gorgeous views. All right, Emmett, let's go. Think about time to load up. I don't know what Cody's saying. There a uh, right and then a uh, right right? No, there was a Y and then you said stay right, which would have them going right before the bridge. It's where we stopped uh, on the Magruder last time. <laughs> yeah, they take a left at the Y and take a right. The original campsite that the group was looking to stay at tonight is taken. So we're going to have to go on with plan B and we're not sure what that is going to be. But they might have to split up the group or we might just have to go a little further.
volunteered to book it down as far as we could go to a couple of different options on some campsites. We'll see if something down here pans out. I guess we're on to plan C. After that, we'll meet him at Burt Knob, run that trail, and hopefully have a campsite for everyone. We went with plan C. We decided to camp down here at Poet Creek. We're gonna miss the group. Really had fun with you guys and everything. Maybe we'll catch up with you tomorrow. But for now, we'll call this place home. We quickly unloaded just a few items from the Bronco, set up the tent, we backtracked a bit, and were able to meet up with a couple of the members of the group who chose to do Burnt Knob that night. Straight on. Amazing, it can withstand that wind. Oh, sure. No, I think uh, I don't want to end up forgetting. Yeah, this is awesome. This is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have people work here that uh, had height issues. Yeah. Oh, make it <laughs> it's a good thing it's not a windy day. Holy cow, this feels scary. There is the oh, that's cool. What a cool place. Wow. 2015. Look at that for a view. Careful, guys, with this door. Or no, there's three blades. What, what am I saying? That's no, that, cool. No, not three, four. Four lakes. <laughs> Please There's stay away from the lakes. edges, understand? Okay. There's four lakes. Emmett, please be careful if you go over here. Yeah. Sorry, I will jump. You can't fly yet, so. It's just on a rock pile. Jeez. <laughs> you were in there, Emmett. <laughs> yeah, I was just in there.
made it to the top of Burnt Knob on the Magruder Corridor. What an amazing view. This is awesome. Alright. Alright guys, take care, safe travel. Bye. 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 <laughs> Emmett, get in. There we go. Got the ladybug off me. Yummy. The best. <laughs> All right. No. The messier they are, the more yummy they are. <laughs> it's been a long day, a lot of driving. Time to sit down and enjoy a hamburger. One of the perks of being ahead of the group is you get to really take your time. And we did. It was a beautiful morning with an easy pace. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> that sounded so satisfying. <laughs> A feather. Oh, I mean, I am not going all the way up this thing. <laughs> It's nerve-wracking a lot. Oh, because it's got been screwed in. Yeah, it, they, all of these little, all these little latches are kind of loose. What's up? Matt? Woo, we caught up with the group. All up here, in time to get to the lookout tower. Did anything break? Now once again, we broke off from the main group. This time to do a little side quest that landed us in some hot water. But you're going to have to wait until next week to hear about that.
we're almost out of the Magruder and we're just stopping for a little break. It's super windy outside, so we're kind of glad that uh, we're on the way out because there's a lot of deadfall that can happen across these roadways. And not that I'm averse to cutting it down or getting it out of the way, but uh, I'd rather not. Anyway, we're reminiscing a little bit before we're even out and what a fun time it was, but I thought I'd show you our elevation map over time doing this Magruder trip. So let me flip this around and show you elevation change over time just for today. And that gives you a little indication of what it's like out here. Well, that's the end of the Magruder Corridor for us. We've made it to Red River Ranger Station, which has been closed since 1998, but all the facilities are still here. It's kind of cool to take a look around and see it. There's a lot of history here, old mining. This trip has been real fun. I had uh, my reservations about taking 11 vehicles on the Magruder, but they were a great group of people. We had a lot of fun. We'll definitely be hooking up with some of them another time on some other trips. Yeah, we definitely learned a few things, and I hope that we made some good impressions on them as well. We've done this once before, about 15 years ago, and it seemed a lot more intimidating then. And there's been some changes on the Magruder. There definitely has. I mean, there was some, some big landslides, and they've had to reroute some things, and also just the sheer number of people that go on the Magruder now. I would say anybody who goes on the Magruder could go to two of the three lookouts without any trouble. Uh, the Burt Knob was pretty much the, the hardest, and it, it was definitely an impressive trail to go on, a lot of fun, worth the visit to the top. The regret I always hear from people is they wish they had taken more time. If you're able to schedule more time, do it. Yeah, you can do the Magruder in three days. Yeah. It's really packing it in. It is, it is. And a shout out to Brandon and Dave for putting this whole trip together with everybody. Um, it was a lot of fun to hang out with you guys. Yeah, well, I'm sure now we'll probably end up going again. Yeah. Good core memories for the kids too. For sure. Thank you. Oh, and also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment.